Hey guys, how are you today? So I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time, but I thought I would sit down and do a monthly favorites video. Now this isn't gonna be just favorites, I'm gonna be talking about favorites and least favorite products that I tried in the last month or two since I haven't done one in a really long time. I'll do like the last two months. <laughs> but the stuff that I'm really, really, really loving, not just liking, really loving and also really not liking. Anyway, if you guys are excited for that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. Let me know if you wanna see monthly favorites videos from me. This is something that I'm testing out again to see if it's something that I wanna do. But don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. I'll have it linked somewhere up here on the screen. And I think that's about it, so let's get to it. Okay, the very first product I wanna mention is one that I don't think I've even talked about yet on my channel because I feel like maybe I haven't had the right place to talk about it or the right video to talk about it. But I have been using this every single day in my everyday life for the last month or so. And it's the Pixie by Petra Glossy Glossomer Duo in Delicate Dew. So I did get two of their highlighters, but this is the one that I'm loving the most. It's a duo, highlighter duo. And uh, you guys, it is just such a wet look highlighter. They are just like pure wet wetness. I'm always kind of trying to look at it and see if I can find any shimmer in it at all. And you guys, I seriously just cannot even see shimmer in it. It just looks like something wet on your hand. It is so beautiful and on your face, not just your hand. <laughs> it is so beautiful and intense and glowy, but beautiful, beautiful glow. I just don't even know what to say about this besides that it is amazing. It is fantastic. I am so obsessed with this and I'm so happy that I tried it. If you guys haven't tried the Pixie highlighters yet, I highly, highly recommend it. And you get two for the price of one. Okay, so I have two eyeshadow palettes that I wanna mention. The Flamingo palette by, by Violet Boss is my absolute favorite palette of the moment. I think it was the best release of the summer. And now that summer is coming to an end, it's one that I am just so happy that I have. I'm so happy that it's in my collection. This is what it looks like on the inside. Stunning, stunning eyeshadow colors. Here, I think the lighting might be a little messed up on that side. Let's try it on this side, is that better? <laughs> but just the color variation that you get in here is so beautiful. And if you love colorful shadows, if you wanna try colorful shadows, this is just a fun, fun palette. And the shadow quality is really, really nice. The shadows are really smooth. They blend really easily. They're very intense in color. But with all that, you don't have to worry about fallout with this. I don't get any fallout at all when I use this palette. So this is seriously the best, best release of the summer. And then I also got a chance to try out this summer the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette and Aphrodite palette. <laughs> I always call it the Aphrodite palette. But this one came out a while ago and I never did try it. And finally, I think it was like in June that they sent it to me and it actually took me a while to finally try it out because I was trying out so many other products and I kind of stopped filming a little bit for a while there. This palette is stunning. I love the shimmers in here. I love the mattes in here. And I think the reason that I'm really, really loving this is because I'm so into red and pink shadows right now. And this palette, it has it all. You've got pinks, you've got reds, and then you've got some, oh, you guys, the shimmers. I love the shimmers. I talked about this in my best under $15 video, that if you're someone that doesn't like a really like chunky shimmer, you're not gonna like this. But I love a good chunky shimmer. So this one is an absolute win to me. It's also very, very affordable. I think it's about $14. So super affordable and you get just some really nice pretty shades in here that I think, in my opinion, they work really, really nicely. So the next thing I wanna talk about, I actually left it in my car and I almost was gonna wait to film this video, but I know I'm not gonna have time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film it now. <laughs> I wanted to let you guys know this product here is actually what inspired me to redo my favorites videos, that and the highlighter. But this is the Wonder Beauty Mascara. I'll go ahead and put a picture up so you guys can see what it looks like. I am obsessed with this mascara. So I actually got this in my BoxyCharm. I don't know if it was last month or the month before that, but it took me a while to try it as well. It's a little bit of a drier formula, which at first I was like, oh, this is a little weird. But then when I saw what it could do to my lashes, I fell in love. So it just makes my lashes so voluminous, so intense, but still like very natural, not spidery or spiky or anything like that. But I get so much volume with this mascara and it works great for the lower lash line and the upper lash, or lower lashes and upper lashes. I'm obsessed. This is one of those products that I never wanna be out of. I need it in my collection at all times. So I'm very, very, very in love with this mascara. If you guys like a very voluminous but natural looking look, nothing too spidery, nothing too spiky, 
Try this mascara, it's so good, you guys. Okay, so I just have one more for favorites and then we'll go and get into the products that I wasn't loving as much this month. But I am loving the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit Cosmetics. So I used to be the type that I never would use a brow pat or a brow setting, what is this called? A brow gel. <laughs> I never would use a brow gel because I just, I always thought they made my brows a little too crunchy, that they never looked very natural when I used them. And this just completely changed the game for me. So I can get that really bushy brow look with this because I can kind of brush my brows up. So I think if you're into that new like bushy brow trend, this is such a good product for that. Sorry, now I'm like playing with my brows here. And they will stay in place all day. They will not move. Now this one still can feel a little bit stiff on your brows if you put too much on. So you have to go in with a light layer, don't apply too much and make sure that you're like really brushing it through, not just kind of setting it on there. So that's the key for me with this one, but I am absolutely obsessed with the way that this just really does hold my brows in place all day long. Okay, so those are my favorites for the month. Now I have three products that I really, really did not like that I tried the last couple months. So the first one is the Natasha Denona mini lila palette and i feel like this one got a lot of good reviews but i was not a fan of it i talked about this when i talked about my eyeshadow palettes for the summer if you guys want to see that video i did review every single eyeshadow palette that i tried this summer i'll link it up in the eye if you guys want to try that my issue with this one is just that the colors don't look the same way on your lid as they do in the in the pans so it might be different if you have lighter skin tone, but for someone like me, I've got a little bit of color to my skin, as you can see. Not super often, but occasionally I do have this issue where a color looks differently in the pan than it does on my skin. It's just because I'm not super pale. For me, with my skin tone, these look so different on the lid. They look so much darker on the lid, and I just don't like it. So honestly, these two shades here are really, really nice. It's these three shades that I take issue with. They look really, really nice and pretty when I do them like this. And when I swatch them on my hand here, let me swatch them so you can see, they look really pretty swatched too. So there you have them swatched. The issue I have is not when I swatch them, it's when I take a brush and try to blend them on my lid. They really do just blend into a little bit of a muddy mess on my lid and it just doesn't look good. The blue, which was the one that I was the most excited for, the shimmery shade, is not as intense as I would have liked it, as intense as I would have expected from Natasha Denona. I've never tried her other shadows before, but because I know that she charges so much for her larger palettes, I expect an amazing, amazing quality from her and I just don't feel like you get that with this palette. I think I said this in my other video, but I much prefer my Anastasia shadows, my Huda Beauty shadows, even like Milani shadows I like better than this. So, so yeah, I just, I did not like the way this performed on my eyes. Let's move on to the next one. It's another eyeshadow palette, the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. So I actually tried this one through BoxyCharm as well as, what else did I try? Oh, the mascara. <sighs> you guys, this palette, this palette. <laughs> These are very patchy, very difficult to blend. They're like powdery. They kind of just buff away into nothing when you place them on your lid. We have just three of them swatched here. This is another one that when I swatched them, I was like, oh, okay, these are gonna be really, really nice. And then I took a brush, they just buff away. There's hardly any color payoff to these if you're using a fluffy brush to try to blend them on the lid. Now you can try to pack them and then blend and then pack and then blend. And eventually you could get the color that you want, but it is so much work to work with these that to me, it's just not worth it. It's really sad because the colors in here are honestly so beautiful. Beautiful, but I just feel like they're too powdery, too patchy, they don't blend nicely at all, and it just makes it not worth it to me. This is not one that I'm excited to reach for. I honestly don't know that I see myself ever reaching for this again. And then the last thing I want to talk about is my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is one that I was really, really excited to try because, you know, anytime you can find a dupe for an Anastasia Brow Wiz, it's a great, great day, right? <laughs> Let me do a little swatch for you guys of this one too. So there's a little swatch of it. It's really nice in color. That's fine. My issue with this one is that it's so stiff that it actually rips out my brow hairs when I'm applying it. So if you like a really stiff brow pencil, you'll probably be fine with this one. But for me, I need something right in the middle where it's not too stiff, not too creamy. This one is just way too stiff. It's seriously like, I think there's like brow hairs on it. <laughs> 
like on the little pencil where it just yanked them right out when I was trying to apply it. So I don't want something that's gonna rip out my brow hairs. So that's my main issue with this. But anyway, that's gonna do it for my favorites and least favorites of the month. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. What are your favorites? What are your least favorites? What is something that you absolutely think I need to try? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.